everybody welcome back to the channel I'm so happy we reached 50 subscribers that was my complete goal for last year and I am so proud of us just forget those today's topic we're going to be reviewing or should I say I guess mediating the controversy surrounding a little cartoon that's popped up Popeyes wait on me now before you say anything this is completely PG, it is completely, not PG, it is completely PD, public domain since 1960s. And this Kapawa is one of my favorite cartoon characters, but we haven't really heard about him in a while. Gendry Karakotowski was going to work on a film for it for Sony, but unfortunately he's left the project and they're in limbo. So why are we talking about this episode? Well, recently I looked on my Twitter feed and found this hashtag about release the curves. But, oh, that is so nice. And then I watched this cartoon, and I thought, okay. And I saw all the controversy surrounding it, saying how pa Popeye is a terrible, terrible jerk for wanting Olive to lose her weight, while her while his rival Brutus wants her to keep it on. I We will be keeping score. Popeye, Olive, and Brutus. To see who ultimately is the person in the end. Because I feel like... Each person, in their own way, has a cause and view of the direct, of the direct plot, and they have their own sides and ways how how they are compensating and overcompensating their views. Let's get started. This entire thing is PD, and if someone tries to take me down, I promise you, I will get Mr. Enter on this. The opens us up with Popeye and Brutus becoming so happy that they're finally home and be able to see all of after about six months away at sea. Both of them attempt to race each other to her house usually in often destructive ways. Now I'm gonna warn you, this animation is really bad. It's made in the 60s by a different person than the 1940s one. Now, as soon as the duo get to her house, they notice that she's changed a lot in the last six months. Olive, once the skin girl has become completely obese, which is understandable that they would be upset since they hadn't seen her in a while. Apparently, she explains that since she got so lonely while they were gone, she started eating like a horse. Okay, Papa immediately says, okay, I'm going to help you lose the weight, in his own way, saying, I'm going to go get reduced king machines, and she claims that he doesn't love her anymore just because she's overweight. We will cover that later on. He claims that he does, and that's why he's going to try and help her. Brutus tells her that she's fine the way she is, which is very empowering, and that he's, and that Papa is being a terrible person. Now, Brutus would be fine in this if he wasn't continuously trying to stuff her with food and making sure that she doesn't lose the weight. Again, trying to... something else we will be talking about later. Popeye continue, and Olive continue with their exercising regimens while Brutus continuously gets in the way. Well, yes, the bike is a pretty good idea, but he, again, is stuffing her with food at times that he doesn't even ask her when she's hungry, he's simply offering her food large amounts of food and the thing about a person and the weight problem you're only supposed to eat when you're help when you're hungry and if anything in proper portion sizes anyway Popeye and Brutus get into a fight as they try to um, fight over who should be helping all of whether or not she should be happy by herself and it's and instead Popeye ends up reducing her back to her normal size but it doesn't matter anymore because everybody's happy and laughs and even Brutus wants to lose some weight Ha ha ha, laugh ending. Now then, now that we have gone over the entire plot, we will be going over our chart to see whether or not what is good, what is bad, and how can this remedy be fixed if it happens in real life. Also, just so you guys know, I'm not going to be biased against everybody. I'm just going to be playing the devil's advocate for everyone. And I'm not contending, no, she shouldn't be forced to lose the weight, and no, she should she should be happy yes she should be happy being comfortable in her own skin but it's all about body image and in itself this before was a thing i'm just saying be yourself you do you now the first thing that we're gonna go over are the character stances first person we're going over the main man popeye now it is understandable like i said before that he will want to help her lose the weight however the way he goes about it is all wrong including not asking her if she wants to lose the weight, which we're going to put down as a negative in his corner. Now, as 
especially in this day and age, everything is about consent. Of course, in the world where they live, they, Popeye and Pluto and Brutus, yes, those two are two very different characters, do not get me started. Um, they have a habit of not really asking Olive about whether she wants to do something or not, or even if it is, it may happen at maybe the beginning of the episode, but not through their, through their actions throughout. That being said, Olive actually does have a choice. Like in many other times, the guys have been able to walk away after she tells them no or screams at them when she doesn't want something. And here, the Olive shows absolutely no restraint or control over what's happening to her, whether it be the exercising or the eating. That's also going to be a negative in her favor, since all the reviews that I've seen, the characters, it's either a black and white thing, People are either, people are usually praising Brutus for keeping the weight on Olive and accepting her for who she is. But they never really take Olive's stance in this. This, like the, like the gods in here, they kind of see her as an object. And we don't want to do that. Second of all, Popeye, he's kind of going about it the old fashioned way. Reducing machines and having her exercise 24-7. That does not work. You have to exercise to your own speed and to your comfortability, not until you pass out and are in pain. That's going to be another negative in his corner. But let's talk about some positives. Popeye, in his own way, was asking Olive not really to lose all of her weight to get back to her normal self, but to get down to a normal healthy weight for her like she was before he left. Here's the thing. Um, you're really not supposed to balloon like that in like six months time. In fact, she pretty much replaced affection with food. She developed an eating disorder, which is not healthy at all. And she continues to kind of show it throughout the episode, continuously eating food, not claiming whether she's hungry or not. She's just eating because she's eating, not eating because she's hungry, especially in large portions. On Last Man on Earth, one of their Episodes for season two revolved around one of their characters, the lovable Todd, ended up um, hoarding bacon from the cast. And he found at least 40 packets of them. We don't know how many were in there when he found them, but there were about 47 of them when Tandy found them from him. And he didn't want to tell anybody, and he pretty much ate a bunch of them by himself, even though they were all eating crickets. I feel like something similar to that is happening with all of considering that she's been offered a giant milkshake, a box of chocolates, now at least she was eating them one at a time, and a steak dinner all after exercising and or just sitting down and doing nothing. Now, Popeye, he was actually being a caring boyfriend. The rationale that he doesn't love her anymore just because she's overweight could kind of hold some water, but it's not true. He merely wants to help her get back to a healthy weight and keep extending her life. Another, that's going to be a plus in his corner. Now then, just some of the things he was doing, I wish he had maybe talked to a doctor beforehand to see what her natural weight was, so, since he was kind of forcing it on her and he didn't know, really know how to make a balanced regimen other than being in the Navy, which there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that's what he did to help. All he was trying to do was help his girlfriend. I had a discussion with one of my aunts a while back about go, about what she asked me whether or not I was comfortable in my own skin because I'm a little overweight. Okay, I'll, I'm heavy for my class set, but I'm not more morbidly obese. And I explained, yes, I am, but I want to want to get down to like a healthier weight just to fit into some of my clothes once I outgrow them, which is the right response. Well, not right. One of the most acceptable responses you can have if you are getting the little pads that you can't fit into some of your clothes anymore. Not just go out and buy new ones. Now, Olive. This entire thing, she kind of giggles and whines throughout the whole thing. Which, <laughs> I'm surprised I'm saying that. Since she's one, she was the first female character I could look up to when I was like five. But um, the thing is, again, as I mentioned before, she could have said no at any time. Instead, all she really does is cry and act like a baby, and then just kind of shift her affection over to whoever makes her the happiest. Furthermore, she didn't really explain, like, what was she eating? She doesn't have to, but I'm wondering, 
for six months did you not have any other friends to talk to i mean you usually leave these guys on a dime for someone richer like frank sinatra or cary grant at least in the older cartoons and you're a flapper so what happened to that lifestyle did you stop dancing um dancing wildly i mean what happened with that now another thing is it seems as though that yes she should be appreciative that brutus actually is affectionate towards her weight and that yes he is giving her nice things i'm going to put that as a check because i like how she's actually comfortable in her own skin she has come to terms with it she doesn't come crying to them about how she has gained so much weight she can't um fit into any of her things or is having trouble being accepted in society she likes the way she looks and that's actually very rare in, in these plots usually whenever in cartoons whenever they have the hefty plot or the weight loss episode Usually characters will get picked on or scratched at it if they gain a few pounds or worse yet, they realize something wrong or say that they're ugly and they may not get a boy or something. Olive is fully aware that she's pure, that she's pretty, that she's hot. She knows how to work it. And that's one of the key things about the release the curves hashtag. Olive should be the poster girl and from this episode on of release the curves. That being said, as I said before, she may have developed some sort of eating disorder. Or maybe she just wanted to eat that way to keep the weight. I don't know. Nobody knows. But that, I put that as a check in her corner. I know you guys are going to get really tired of me saying that. But I don't care. Anyway, another thing that she could have done was maybe fuss and whine it. Not really fuss, but ask her by, hey, stop doing this. Especially since it looked like he was going to make her exercise until she passed out, or until she lost the weight. There's not really much to say about Olive. She's kind of always been a stationary character now that I think about it. And now we go on to Brutus. The guy who loves her curves and wants her to keep them. You do you, Brutus. Be every man of the 2010s, please. We're going to put that as a check. Now, yes, to be fair, in the cartoon, he is portrayed as a villain, and a good reason, but in the eyes of many of the reviewers, they'll say, no, he's a good guy, he's just treated unsympathetically. I would consider him that, except he goes to extremes with his views. Besides stuffing her food, like we mentioned before, negative, he, along with sabotaging it, he's actually putting all of them more danger than Popeye. Not just because of her health, which in the long run, may or, if she keeps this weight on for an extended period of time and eating the way she is, she may have a heart attack or something. I'm not sure. I'm not saying no, not every overweight person will have a heart attack or um, health complications from it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm not saying that's going to happen to everyone. I'm just saying that the way she was eating and gaining the weight in an accelerated rate, she could very well end up like one of those people on My 600 Life. And I feel like that's not a place she wants to be. I'm not discrim discriminating against everybody, anybody on the TV show or who is of a significant weight gain. I'm just saying that he's an enabler. That's the direct term in this situation. Now, Brutus sabotaging her exercising is very bad especially when he has placed her on machines that he doesn't know what they do she doesn't know what they do and she herself is almost hurt and while well, he's going to talk to Popeye and she go she's on a bike he pretty much trips her up so that she crashes into a wall not the best boyfriend material there's a negative in his corner and the worst thing is he kind of tries to conform at the end. You know, the everybody laughs ending where he says, if you can't be him, join him. I feel like that looks badly down on guys who are a bit overweight because I feel like they should be held to the same standards as women and that everybody is beautiful in their own skin since there are a lot of jokes about how guys are unattractive if they're heavy or if like they're of a certain weight or they're not Adonis. Body size is ridiculous. 
But the way he just said, if you can't beat him, join him. I'm wondering, was he intimidated by Alan slimming down? Or maybe he was afraid of more retribution from Popeye since he was kind of knocked into that machine. We're not sure. Which actually kind of reminds me of another thing. Olive just forgets all of her morals as soon as she's down to her slim self. I'm going to put that as a negative. As soon as Popeye helps her lose the weight, which she actually ignores her saying, stop, please stop. Ignoring her consent, negative for him. Just She's just having to be her old slim self again. So something you couldn't have done in at least six months, your ma boyfriend magically was able to do it. I can see why you stayed with him. No wonder you haven't gained an ounce. Now, after going through our entire checklist, um, the person with the most negatives I have now is Popeye. Three to one positive. And Brutus and Olive are tied at two negatives and a positive. So, who is the real villain in this? Well, I'd have to say probably, from a real world standpoint, Popeye. Since he has been largely ignoring consent and forcing his way on to Olive. Not in that way. Not in that way. <laughs> no. I'm just saying he's forcing his way of life onto her. And that could be detrimental to a relationship. Brutus, on the other hand, is also being detrimental because he's being an enabler. Now, if they had simply sat her down and explained that they care about her, asking, don't lose it all at once, just gradually work your way through. And that now, hey, they're back. You don't have to eat like a horse anymore. And maybe we could take you to a doctor who knows about eating disorders. Or at least knows how to help you with your portion sizes so you can get down to a regular weight. And let's see. From all of this, I have to say it was a good premise of the, the episode was a good premise. It just kind of annoyed me. And with all the people commenting how Popeye was a jerk, I just, I still wanted to defend my favorite sailor, but also- Want to see my post-trauma stress now. review? Click on one of the annotations. Until the next time I meet. And hey, Bye. why not subscribe? Now where's my- And check out my other videos and please share it with your friends, please.